It's been forever since I've actually obviously done a makeup tutorial. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to a little spend the day with me. I'm in my bathroom right now. I'm about to get ready for the day. I also woke up this morning and I have the biggest pimple literally right on the middle of my nose. So we're about to cover that up. But I'm about to do my makeup and I thought I would take you guys through like my everyday makeup routine. So many of you guys have been asking me for this. So I thought I would just include it in a vlog. I promise you guys it's really nothing special. It's super easy, but since you guys asked, I was like, all right, I'll just show it. For foundation, I've been using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I just ran out of like another foundation that I was really loving, so I decided to use this because it was all I had. And I forgot how good it was, you guys. I'm not gonna talk about it too much because I talked about it. Sorry, I have to wet my beauty blender, hang on. I talked about it in my last vlog because I just like couldn't believe like how good it was, but yeah, I'm just using this. I'm in the shade 228, which is soft tan since I am self tan right now. I'm also using it on a Real Technique sponge. I always use a sponge for my foundation and my concealer, but yeah, I thought it'd be fun to kind of take you guys through just a little day in my life. I have a few fun things planned. I want to, hang on, <laughs> go to the bookstore and get a book for July. I'm probably just gonna run to Barnes and Nobles. I typically like to read a book a month and I don't have one for July yet and typically I order them on Amazon but I'm like I don't know it'd kind of be fun it's been forever since I just like went got a coffee and like actually went to a bookstore I used to do that all the time I used to do that all the time before COVID especially when I was younger too that was like my mom and I's thing like we go get a Starbucks we go to Barnes and Noble and we would just like look at books look at like the music section and we'd always write down like we'd go through the music section and like listen to all the CDs and then we'd write down the songs we like so we could go like buy them on iTunes later that day I just had like so many good memories in Barnes and Noble and like the bookstore so it's been forever since I've gone since COVID and then I've just been ordering my books on Amazon but there's just something like so special, you know, about going to a bookstore and getting the book physically, even though it is more expensive and they are a few dollars cheaper on Amazon. I feel like the experience is definitely worth it just to pay, you know, the few extra dollars and actually like go get it in person. For concealer, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer. Too Faced concealers are by far my favorite concealers ever. They are obviously a little bit pricier since they're not like a drugstore. They're a high-end brand. I just put a little bit under my eyes. I'm obviously going to put some on my nose over this pimple. Just like basically in all the usual places. This like takes me back <laughs> to the makeup tutorial days. I used to do makeup tutorials all the time. That's actually how I started my channel. I just talked about this in another video too. So I'm not going to repeat myself too much. But it's just crazy. It's been forever since I've actually like obviously done a makeup tutorial and I feel like I'm like kind of doing one right now but yeah so we're gonna go get coffee we're gonna go to the bookstore I need to run to Target to look for a rabbit and a dog bed because they both need new beds I also have some fun packages to unbox so I actually got sent a bike desk chair like it's literally a desk chair that has pedals it's from Flexi Spot. I'm working with them in an upcoming video, not this video. So this is not like sponsored by them, but they sent it to me to try out and it got delivered. And I'm obviously, I'm going to talk about it more in a video that I do with them, but I'm like, why not just like unbox it with you guys and test it out? Because it looks like the weirdest thing ever. I'm like, do you literally just like sit there and work and like pedal? I have no idea. So I'm also using the Smashbox Cali Contour Palette. I like this palette because I, it has a really good like powder in it to set your face, but I also, oh my gosh, what is that? Oh my, oh heck no, there's like a beetle in here. But you guys, wait, I literally don't know what to do. Oh, is it a fly? No, that is not a fly. I got it. So what I was saying is I like this Smashbox Cali Contour Palette because it has a really good powder in it, but I also really like the bronzer and the blush too. So this is really nice for like traveling or whatever. You can just like have all of your powders in one place. So I'm just using this. I'm out of breath now <laughs> to set my face. And you guys, literally last night, we just hit 11,000 subscribers, which is insane. And we just hit 10,000, like, I feel like just like a month and a half ago. So 
I'm just so thankful for each and every one of you. Um, so if you are subscribed, thank you guys so much. It just means the world to me. I've been doing YouTube for so long and I just didn't really know the kind of content that I wanted to create. So I never really went anywhere. And now I feel like I have direction. Even though my content's still everywhere, I feel like I just have like a purpose now. And that is just to, you know, be a very realistic and authentic voice on YouTube. Just using the blush from the palette, I just put a little bit on. But okay, I just fell on my brows with my Benefit Precisely My Brow. I was talking that whole time, but I think I'm going to have to cut it out because I was so focused on my brows. So I just filled those in. Um, this is like my all-time favorite brow pencil. I've been using it for years. I've tried drugstore ones, but Benefit just like does brow products so well. So I just lightly filled those in. I'm not fine. Like any of my mascaras, I thought I brought it in here, but I'm just going to have to go with this one. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. I like this mascara, but for me, it transfers under my eyes a lot. So... I'm actually gonna add more powder. So if I have makeup all under my eyes in like two hours, that is why. The last thing I do is I just like wipe off my lips because I don't like when they're covered in foundation. My lips are so dry right now, they're crusty. So I'm just gonna put on my Laneige lip mask. It adds a really nice gloss and hydration. I'm putting this on. And that's pretty much it for my everyday makeup routine. It's super easy, super simple. Like I said, it takes me like literally 10 minutes, but I've been getting so many comments about my everyday makeup routine. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It's very easy, very beginner friendly, but I'm actually about to just fix my hair just cause it's a little, it's a little crazy. I'm gonna change. I'm probably actually gonna wear this shirt, just like change. I have on Devin's boxers right now. I'm probably just gonna put on some biker shorts because it's like 90 degrees outside. So we're gonna change. Fix my hair, I'll show you guys what I end up wearing, and then we're gonna go get a coffee and go to the bookstore because it's already getting into early afternoon, and I wanna get going because we have a busy day ahead of us. But yeah, I'm gonna change, and we're gonna go get a coffee and walk around a bookstore. This is my outfit. I would just like everybody to take a moment to remember this moment. This is the first time in so long that I'm actually like going out in jean shorts and a tank top. I'm gonna put on some sandals and not just like sweatpants or sweatshorts. I had on that big t-shirt and sweatshorts and I was like, you know what? I need to start wearing my clothes and just like getting myself together a little bit more rather than just like when I'm going out to dinner. So I decided to get myself a little bit ready today. This is what we're wearing. Also my glasses are from Key. I forget the style of these. These are very very LA. They're very good like glasses or very good head glasses, but they're very big to wear in your face. They're still super, super cute. But like I said, I feel like they're very LA and jewelry is just the same as usual. I just have on a little gold Urban Outfitters hoops. I have on this necklace. It just has a little D on it. And other than that, we are good to go. We are ready. It's gonna be a good day. I may even try to get an Instagram picture today. So if you don't already, definitely make sure to go follow me over on Instagram. But let's get going. Now that we're ready, I'm craving a coffee and I'm ready to get this day started. So let's do it. I have my coffee. I just parked in the shade. I have to keep the air on. I, you guys can probably tell I'm sweating. It is so hot in here. Yeah, it is 93 degrees out right now and there is a heat advisory. I got a chai tea latte. I was going to get the coffee, but I don't know. I was kind of feeling this today. It's so good every time. I love um, chai tea lattes. The lid will not stay on though. And then I also got a breakfast sandwich because I have not eaten today. So I got the um, turkey, bacon, and egg white breakfast sandwich. Anyways, the book that I think I'm going to go in for is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I've seen this book everywhere. I've heard amazing things about it. I love Colleen Hoover. I've read three Colleen Hoover books in a row. And I'm not a big reader. I read one book a month. So for the past three months, I've read Colleen Hoover. She's definitely probably my favorite author. I love her writing. She's obviously really popular right now. But... I kind of want to like branch out just because it has been a while since I've read another author and just like try someone else. So I thought I would try The Seven Husbands, like I said, of Evelyn Hugo. But I asked you guys on Instagram to send me some book recommendations. And so I wanted to read a few to you guys just in case you guys are looking for a good book too. So um, let's see where they're at. Okay, so some of these are Colleen Hoover and some of these are not. So... Um, some recommendations were Heart Bones, Ugly Love, and Reminders of Him, and those were all from Colleen Hoover. Reminders of Him is the one that I'm reading right now. I have not 
tried Heart Bones or Ugly Love. I've heard really good things about Ugly Love though. Um, but yeah, those three were from Colleen Hoover. And then this recommendation also says the Ravenhood series by Kate Stewart, um, which is Flock, Flock, Exodus, and the Finish Line are the book names. Um, and she said that those were her all-time favorites. So that was a good recommendation. If you guys have any good book recommendations, definitely leave them down below. As I like go through here, I'm not going to spend like too much time and go through my DMs right now. But um, I will like have a pinned comment and I'll put any book recommendations that I find in that comment. So if you guys are looking for any good book recommendations, definitely check out the comment section down below. I'll have some there. Hopefully you guys will comment some. But yeah, I think we're going in for The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo if they have it, which I'm sure Barnes & Noble will. But I'm happy having a minimal spend month so I'm probably not gonna buy any more than one book but if I see something I might pick it up I typically only read one book a month so this one should last me for all of July but anyways that's the plan we have our iced chai latte or iced chai our iced chai latte our breakfast sandwich and we're gonna go look for a good book Sunlight that always stays Dinner by the waterway It's that sweet light Okay, I'm not gonna get all of these, but I found some of the books that you guys recommended, so I wanted to show you. So we have People We Meet on Vacation. I've heard really good things about this one. We of course we have we have the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I found it, they had it. We have the love hypothesis. I've heard really, really good things about this one. I kind of want to get it today too. And then we also, of course, we have Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I'm not gonna get this one since like I said, I'm trying to like stray away from Colleen Hoover, but um, but yeah, these are all books that you guys recommended to me So I wanted to pick them up and at least show you what the covers look like But I'm definitely gonna get the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo and then I think I'm gonna get the love hypothesis because this one sounds really good, too Now I never wanna go back home I just changed into what I was wearing before just like some oversized comfy clothes that tank top was cute but I was ready to get into a t-shirt and sweatshorts I'll show you guys what I ended up getting it's also about a thunderstorm out so the lighting is just like all crazy in here I didn't really get too much but I also have some stuff to unbox and show you guys that I got in the mail so I'll show you guys kind of like a little haul of everything but I'll start with um, Barnes & Noble first because you guys I didn't even end up getting the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo even though that's like what I was determined to get I actually ended up getting the love hypothesis I've heard really really good things about it and when I saw it I don't know just like the cover and it just like looks really like fun and cute I don't know I was just really drawn to this one and after reading the description of the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo it sounds good but it said it was like based in like old-time Hollywood and I was just like a little bit more drawn to this one it just seems like a little bit more you know cute fun and then I also got myself a little bookmark I love getting bookmarks when I go into bookstores so this one just says I read past my bedtime just like super simple and cute so I got this and then after that I went into home goods to look for a dog bed for Maya which was a success we got her a dog bed she loves sleeping in her dog bed like versus our bed but her dog bed is so flat now and I think it's been hurting her back she's been trying to sleep with us more so I got her a memory foam dog bed which I'll show you guys in a second but while I was in there I saw these mixing bowls these are the Go Eco Bamboo Fiber Mixing Bowls. This is a set of four mixing bowls. They're durable and strong, dishwasher safe, and BPA free. This is what they look like, but the best part about them is I got them on clearance for 
$2.00, which I thought was such a good deal for four bowls, so only $2.00 a piece. Okay, sorry, my dad called me, but I think what I was saying is that, yeah, I got these on clearance for $8.00, and we only have one silver mixing bowl, and we've really been needing more, so I thought this was perfect because it comes in a bunch of different sizes, and like I said, at home goods for only $8.00. I feel like that was a steal. All right, I came upstairs to unbox the last package because it's actually clothing. I already opened it up just to like see what it was, but I haven't opened anything inside but this is actually a package by EBY by Sofia Vergara thank you so much to EBY for sending these over I'm gonna like take these out and try them on so I think I have a bodysuit two bralettes and two pieces of underwear to show you guys so I'm gonna take these out but before I try any of this on EBY was actually so kind to give me a discount code to give you guys so you guys can use code Kaylin it's just my name I'll put it on the screen here for 15% off of your order so if you see anything you like if you want to you know purchase it you guys can get 15% off this video is not sponsored by them, um, but I will say the links are affiliate links. So if you guys would purchase and use my link, I would make a small commission. But I always say this, but you guys know, I feel like I have to say it. I would never recommend anything to you guys that I didn't, you know, truly love. I'm just trying this on first impressions for the first time and I just have a discount code for you guys. Okay, I'm gonna try everything on for you guys. First impressions, so that way you guys can see what it looks like. So this is the first thing that I got. It is one of their all fabric bralettes in the color laurel green. I love this green so much. I think it's so pretty, especially for spring. It does have <laughs> built-in pads where you guys can see here, but it's like, honestly, I don't really mind because I would definitely wear this under something. Super stretchy. It's really like comfortable and breathable. And honestly, I could probably like sleep in this. Like if you're someone who likes to sleep in sports brawls, which I know there's people out there who do, um, this is definitely like one of those like really comfy brawls that you could definitely sleep in. It's very comfy all over, very stretchy, really breathable, but it is like super supportive too. So these are the matching underwear. Super, super cute. It's like that same really like stretchy, seamless cotton material. I got mine once again in a size small and it matches really, really well. I'm not gonna try the underwear on for you guys, but you guys can kind of get the get the idea. Oh my gosh, you guys, this one might be my favorite. So the third thing that I got is this bralette. And once again, it's kind of like that same all cotton bralette. It does have the pads built in, but because this is a darker color, this one is in the color blue opal, you cannot see the pads. And this is just so pretty i love this one the color is just like such a really like pretty deep blue even if you are someone with a bigger chest i definitely think that this would still hold you in and be supportive enough and then once again i got the same matching briefs this is in the shade once again blue opal i got mine in a size small i'm someone i don't really like you know super small underwear i like briefs so once again i got the brief style but these together is just so pretty i don't know how well you can see it on camera but you could definitely wear this one as like a top especially with like maybe like an oversized like white button up with it just because you can't see the pads so it is a little bit more wearable but yeah this is the second little set that i got super super cute and the last thing that i got is this bodysuit i obviously i have my shorts on with it but it is this black bodysuit and you guys can't tell on camera it also has a really nice dip like if you want to wear it under something that has a low back it does have the built-in brawls but i know you guys can't tell on camera but it is the silkiest softest material ever it's almost like a really like thin shiny material it has the feeling of shapewear it kind of like sucks everything in without being actual shapewear so it's not uncomfortable it's not super like tight in here like shapewear like i don't feel like i'm being like sucked in uncomfortably it is super super comfy but it just has like a really nice like form fitting feeling to it so you feel like everything is nice and sucked in but i really like this this is probably one of my favorites just because it is going to get the most use i think and honestly it's one of those things once again you can wear under something or you can kind of wear it on its own even like this like if i had jean shorts on i think it looked really cute too and like i said it does have the built-in bra so you don't have to worry about wearing a bra with the either which of course we all love i do just also want to mention that they have a subscription service you don't need the subscription to purchase but they do have one if you do decide to sign up you guys can get up to 20 percent off site-wide and that includes tanks and bralettes too if you guys do decide to sign up for the 
subscription. They always offer free shipping. You'll get exclusive access to all the new launches and you can get three panties every three months for only $39 and you can cancel anytime. And a big thank you to EBY for sending over these items. Definitely make sure to go check them out down below because they are definitely very good, really good quality and super, super comfortable. But I'm actually about to change, eat some sushi and go set up this desk chair because it's starting to get later out. The sun's going like in and out and I wanna get that done today. Look what mommy got you today, huh? Look what mommy got you today, a new doggy bed. And we'll put your new one there, huh? Yeah. It's hey. your bed, she's nervous hey. to walk on it. Hey, it's hey. your bed. <laughs> come, Maya, come here. Come here. Come here. Why Maya, are you nervous? Come here. Come here. Give me it's that. just a dog bed. Okay. You want a new bed? You don't like this it's one? It's way comfier. You don't like this one? Give me a new bed. She on. at least needs to try it. Come on. Give me a new bed. She'll try it. Come on. <laughs> come on. Yeah. Just pick her up and put her on it. Come on. Give me a new bed. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I'm not going anywhere. No, get out. Come on. <laughs> it should not be this difficult to get the dog to try her new bed. <laughs> Do you love it? It's taking her a minute to get used to. Oh, there she goes. She's falling asleep now. It's not too bad, is it? literally like a whole setup like it has a little like LCD screen like this is way more <laughs> advanced than I thought I don't know what I was expecting I just I guess like a chair with like little pedals but this is like a whole almost like cycling setup no wonder this was so heavy I this is crazy What do you think? You feel like you're at Cycle Bar? <laughs> All right, the bike is built. This thing is like a legit, like this thing is legit. It's like a cycling bike. Like it has a little screen like I showed you guys. You can track your time, speed, distance, calorie, RPM. You have your resistance here. I cannot believe how just like nice this is, to be honest. I don't know what I was expecting, but this was absolutely not it. Look how pretty the sky looks tonight. The sun is finally setting. Can you guys guess what time it is? Just take a guess. It is 9.05, 9.05 p.m. And it is still this light out. That is crazy. All right, you guys, it is nine o'clock. I cannot believe it is this late already. I just put on my glasses because I was down here crying by myself reading my book. I don't know why, but I've just been so emotional the past few days. I think it's because it's that time of the month, but I've been reading Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. I've been sitting down here reading for the past like two hours or so, and I was literally reading and like full on crying. Like you guys can see my eyes are red. I have makeup under them. I was literally like crying, like tears falling down the page. And it, like it was an, like, emotional part or like a sad part but like at the same time like okay Caitlin you need to get it together you're literally crying reading this book and I'm not someone who like cries very easily about people like about animals I will cry in like two seconds but about people it takes a lot for me to cry and 
I've just been so emotional. I don't know. So I'm like, you know what? I need to take a break from reading. I'm going to make some dinner. I cannot believe it's already 9.15. It feels so much earlier. So yeah, this is pretty much what I'm going to do for the rest of the night. I think I'm going to wrap the vlog here. I appreciate it if you guys made it this far and I love spending the day with you guys. I think these videos are always so fun. Just like a little daily vlog, a little spend the day with me. I once again, I'm so excited about my new book. I just, I cannot wait to start it. So I'm like trying to power through this one so I can start that one. Make sure you guys comment down below any video ideas that you want to see. Comment down below too, like what videos you like the best you like week of my life stay my life's work vlogs like what do you like to see from me and i'll definitely make sure i do more of it for you guys but i really hope you guys enjoyed our little day together make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye guys